Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our tech is and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix iCloud lock for iPhones. So this is the iPhone 5 in my hand. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix that, how to unlock your iPhone, the iCloud lock for your iPhone. So here it is, uh, it's locked with the uh, iCloud uh, lock, it's asking for the uh, Apple ID and the password to unlock, to bypass this screen. Uh, this Apple and this phone iPhone is linked with the Apple ID. Enter your password. Blah blah blah. So for that, you require to. There is a very simple way to fix that with the custom firmware method. So basically, let's put this side uh, phones side. So you require these two files, uh, which you require to download uh, from the given link below the description. So first of all, let's directly jump on the website that is the animatrix.com you can search uh, icloud unlock for iphone custom for for iphone or you can also get it from the below link also link is on the description you can check it out there icloud unlock iphone 5 okay and method is the custom firmware so also to mention that is uh, cfw custom firmware okay it's a crew one it's not crew it's CFW custom from where okay so it is iCloud unlock for iPhone 5s with iOS 10.2 so you will get the updated version again it's better to uh, jump from the below link I will provide a link for that you just jump from the link so basically first of all you require to download uh, if you if you have another phone device you can search from here like iphone 5 another phone. this is the iphone 5 uh, that's for iphone 5 ios uh, 10.2 but I required the latest one so 10.2 is the last person it's not a big deal For this one, open that, and let's simply uh, download the custom for uh, get uh, modded iTunes and the custom IPSW for your phone. So that's it. It's a simple way. Uh, just simply click on this both link, and you will down. You can download this easily. Oh from there for other devices models and for if you want to download this iPhone 5 only this link is I already given on the description so let's directly open the modded iTunes and let's uh, don't download don't update the version of the iTunes it will ask about to upgrade your iTunes version but don't upgrade it so simply if you already have iTunes then uninstall it and restart your device in PC or laptop and then install the modded iTunes again so that's it so after installing that simply connect your cable with the phone and attach it with the laptop and very important thing you require a original cable which comes with the device or any high quality original cable only so it's connected you can see it's uh, charging option there there is a charging so after that simply you can see activation lock asking for the apple ID and the password 
so after that simply restart your device Just restart your iPhone with holding the volume oh sorry not volume actually it's with the power and the home button when your phone gets off then remove holding the home button or simply hold the home button and you will see installing a device driver software on your on the PC so after that you can see iTunes has detected iPhone in recovery mode then ok then restore your iPhone so now it's time to restore your iPhone with the custom firmware so let's uh, restore it so with pressing the shift button click over the restore iPhone and you can select the let's rename first uh, you have to rename the file name with the uh, file uh, name that is iphone 4.0 the device number so you, the file name will be already in the given in the description you can check it out there and rename with that same file name so that's it and restore it so here itunes it is and restore so restore process has been started it's been extracting the software right now and uh, let's check it out so now it's still extracting after extracting uh, from now it will take around 15 minutes to complete the whole it depends upon the PC that it sometimes it takes 15 minutes sometimes takes 10 it's completely depends upon the phone and the PC combinations so let's see um, how much time it takes so right now I'm just fast forwarding this video let's check it out
okay it's now uh, restoring the iphone firmware it's almost um, going to complete so right now it's verifying the iphone software iphone restore so here your iphone has been restored to factory setting and it's restarting so that's it so the custom firmware has been completely and successfully installed without any error this time so sometime you might be get different types of error so check it out here for all the error description on the there is another article which i have made for just to complete to rectify that for what error which uh, error denotes for what so that's it so there right now the phone is getting on it's completely now right now formatting the system so let's see Okay, in the PC you can see the iPhone, the return of iPhone has been already came. Okay, but still showing as uh, it's locked. Let's see what the phone says. Okay, the phone uh, has been restored completely. The custom firmware already now installed on the phone successfully. But the on the screen when it's attached with the device, uh, the the laptop shows the this phone is linked to Apple. So let's see uh, what does the phone says when disconnected and again connect to the website. Let's see what does it says when again connect to the Apple servo. Okay, hope custom firmware works on that. Okay. Now you can connect to iTunes. If once you see uh, the Apple iCloud ID still asking for the Apple iCloud ID on the con uh, on the iTunes modem iTunes, then you require to again just like uh, disconnect the cable and click over the again connect with the uh, iCloud is uh, connect with the i connect to iTunes on the PC. Let's again check the let's connect to the Wi-Fi and let's see does it say okay let's join and let's see what does it say It's still showing the same is something going wrong or does it you know let's check it out again connect it with the device and
okay so it's gone now so here it is uh, just simply connect with the itunes on the pc and then click the continue with the uh, sign in it will simply bypass your icloud screen so that's it it's completely now bypassed there is no icloud id now required to unlock this phone or set up this phone but once again if you restore it with the original it original uh, the firmware then it will again ask with for icloud id and the password so make sure that you did not upgrade your phone or install new new like uh, install other the original firmware on your device so it is it's done so if you if this works for you then please click on thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel thanks for watching this and don't forget to like and subscribe okay thank you